Workers of a foreign company in Nubia, Kisi town, have allegedly undergone assault after confronting their seniors demanding their dues in arrears upon being pressed to repay their loans. The victims asked for their wages after they had borrowed money to pay the company in order to be recruited. Three casual workers of a foreign company with an affiliate in the country have allegedly been assaulted by their senior supervisors in Nubia, Kisi town. According to sources, the TN's company mentors educated but unemployed youths to earn income by engaging them in initiatives and related to their academic careers. Dominic Obongi narrates how the supervisors accompanied by hired goons locked them inside their office and set a molesting spree using crude implements. Sisi tukabaki, dapo tukanda kusambliwa kwa ofisi, tukanda kusambliwa, itai nikuwa nimekelea, alafu wanataku ninyonga na ayo. Asa, one of my friend ambaye ni Frederick, penye nikuwa nikilala kama nilitoroka kwa nyumba yangu juu, sijalipa rent. Haka pigiwa simba, haka ambiwa rafiki yako, jamani ya nilahuliwa kwa ofisi, njomu saidie. Christabel Kwamboka paid the company to obtain a job. Kwamboka claimed she was molested. Nikanda kwa nyumbani, nikaleta iso pesa sote. 28 ni kalejesta sote ni kapati wa kadi ya kasi. Alafu, after all, wakaniambia ni enda ni leta 24,000, ndiyo ni nge kwa bail all. Sasa ya mua kuche ofisi, ndiyo ni kuche kulisa what happened. Sasa ni meshikuwa. Mwede niambia mta nisaidia na iso pesa ndiyo ni rudise kwa chama. Sasa kutoka hapo ndiyo warianza kutupiga kwa katupiga kwa katupiga. Alafu, wakanigekelea mawe kwa mkongo hapa. Atutaka chini tukiangalia impunity of this match ikiendelea kisi. Na we are saying kama hawa vijana wote awata patikana na wachukuli watua, sisi tutaweka maandamano kisi. Na kumungua OCS hapa until ila siku tutapata justice. The victims went for medical attention at kisi teaching and referral hospital after the chief got an alert. Human rights activist Esnahas Nyaramba condemned the incident and called upon the relevant authorities to investigate the incident and bring the culprits to book. Paulette Mboga, KUTV.